Hey folks, this is Shane from Forms EV. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to continue our efforts to try and control the Nissan Leaf inverter using CAN messages. This time I went through the setup that I was planning to use to control the, or attempt to control, the Nissan Leaf inverter using CAN messaging. Uh, so now I wanted to take you through a bit of a bit more detail on the actual messaging itself and the software that I've written, small though it is, um, and then we'll try and see if we can get a message across. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Up here, running, um, we're powering a couple of Arduino units. At the moment I've got basically one set up for, to receive CAN messages and one set up to send CAN messages. Um, so let me just show you very briefly what's what's happening. Coming across from the first Arduino that's set up to send messages. So you can see down below here it's set up to send three different messages at slightly different intervals um, to the inverter. This is based on what the inverter needs to receive in order to function. Um, one of them is really just a static message that tells the inverter inverter that everything's okay in the car. The other two are a bit more specific and have um, counters and, and checksums on them. So they change slightly each time. One of them, however, um, changes a lot each time in that it's the torque message. So it tells the inverter how much torque to, um, how much power to send the motor based on the, the desired level of torque. Um, so what I've done is I've got that sending zero across to begin with, um, but in the um, in the code that I've written, I can basically update part of that value so that it tries to send uh, more information across, or sorry, a different torque figure across, and hopefully that will be what we need to trigger the motor moving. On the other side, we've got another Arduino set up to receive messages. Sorry, they're operating on slightly different rates. And you can see here the data coming across. So these are the, the messages that we're planning to send across to the um, to the uh, inverter. So yeah, so that's the setup there. Um, now I'm going to keep the the read unit running, and I'm going to try and switch on the inverter and see what comes across. So I'm going to switch off the sending messages, and let's uh, get the clear the output and get the inverter set up. All right, so we've got the uh, leaf inverter into the circuit with the other, in the can circuit with the other um, units. So we're going to see what happens when it sends messages. All right, so a lot of data coming across from it. Um, looks to be just a pretty static message. So now we're going to see if we can get a word in edgeways with the um, the data that we want to send. Alright, so this is interesting. So we've got the um, our sending Arduino switched on now, but while it was communicating with just the receiving one, it was fine. It was flagging that it was sending the message successfully. Now it's saying that there is an error sending the message. Now the one thing I'm wondering is, could it be down to um, something like the termination resistors that have to exist in the, um, in the CAN circuit? So both the Arduinos have them. I don't know if the inverter does, so I think I'm going to have to do some investigation around that. I tried wiring up the can differently 
a couple of different ways, um, but I'm still getting this error message when we try and send data to the um, to the other system. And yeah, it's So it's quite interesting, I'm getting this error message uh, on the data that we're trying to send as soon as the other CAN bus is in place, even if it doesn't actually, isn't switched on, isn't sending out any data. So we're getting this error message now. If I go and remove the, um, the inverter, From it, all of a sudden we get the success messages. Um, so there's definitely an issue with the um, with how the network looks to the unit that I've got. So it uses it's an Arduino, but it has a, a standard um, CAN bus board, so it's not the, the Arduino itself isn't having to to work out the actual messaging protocols or anything like that. It's just telling that unit what to send. Um, so I'm going to have to do a, a quite a bit more investigation on this uh, to see what could be causing the issue and what I can do to resolve it. So that didn't quite go as planned. Um, unfortunately, we're getting an error when I try and send data to the network once the leaf is part of that network as well. Um, from what I've read around CAN and CAN messaging, it can be quite particular around things like terminating values and, and things like that. So it's probably an issue on the network level rather than on the, with the software that I've written. Um, which means I'll have to go and investigate a new part of the, uh, the protocol and, and what happens. But I'll start doing that and hopefully come back to you in the future with another video where I successfully managed to instruct the um, Nissan Leaf inverter to turn the motor. But until then, I hope you've enjoyed this short video um, and that you got something out of it. If you have, please like, share or subscribe and click the notify icon if you want to be notified when more videos like this come out. Anyway, thanks for joining us and see you next time.